Hey everybody, what's going on? Hello, hello. We've got a neon Christmas tree behind us. It still looks, it needs a little bit more. Now I've already committed myself to the strong possibility that that thing is going to fall off the wall any minute now, like any minute now. So just, but we also need a little more going on back there. So, you know, just let me work on it. I'm sure I'll get it done by Christmas and then it'll be time to take it all down. How are you guys doing? How was your day? My day was, do I have, okay, I just got done eating pizza. I wanted to make sure I didn't have any black stuff in between my teeth. I don't have any makeup left on. It's been a long day. We had our office holiday party today, and we were all supposed to wear Hollywood-themed Christmas sweaters, and I wore, I'm moving very carefully because I don't want to knock off the, I wore the a crisp. A Christmas story and it's got the leg lamp on it and it says well you can't really see but it says it's a major award on it with the leg lamp and then I got the matching leg lamp earrings and those are on Amazon I just did a search I think I did a search for Hollywood Christmas sweaters or something and then this came up and then these came up so I did not win, though, because some lady came dressed as a full-on Christmas tree, and I didn't really think she should count because a Christmas tree, like, what, okay, what Hollywood movie, though? Sure, there's a Christmas tree in every Hollywood movie, I guess, but come on, she kind of cheated, but she had a full, I mean... She had a full, she was wearing like a full round tree with just her head sticking out of it. And I don't know what the prize was. I don't know if the prize was an extra day off or what. If it was, I should have had a big box strapped to my back that said fragile written all over it. So speaking of movies, and then we're going to talk about Luna. Uh, I, yeah, yesterday I forgot to tell you the movie Yesterday's movie was, and this confused me until I read the trivia, yesterday's movie was The Frozen, and I, I, I had never heard of that, so I felt lame, and I googled it today, and it was a horror movie that came out, horror movie that came out, I don't know, in 2016 or something, and I'm like really? And then I read the trivia and the trivia is just, it's not trivia at all. It's just a summary of the movie Elsa and her sister and blah, blah, blah. So they meant just Frozen. So Frozen was yesterday's movie. And then today's movie is, we have 18 days. That gives me a panic attack. Just, uh, it's Christmas with the cranks and that movie is funny, if I remember correctly. Isn't Tim Allen in that movie, too? I don't know. Let me... Somebody's in that movie. Let me read the trivia. How's the tree doing? Okay, it's still doing okay. It's kind of flickering. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Please stay on my wall. Um... With their daughter Blair away in Peru, Luther and Nora Crank decide to skip Christmas altogether until she decides to come home, causing an uproar when they have to celebrate, celebrate it at the last minute. Okay, well, that was a summary of the movie. That really wasn't trivia, but Christmas with the Cranks. Okay, I got a lot of movies I got to catch up on. And I was going to take tonight off, but then I thought people will be lost without not, you know, without knowing what the movie is and how are they going to survive without knowing what's in the advent calendars. So I thought we would just do, ad oh, Luna, and then talk about Luna. And then I've got a tiny Timu haul for the Timu enthusiasts out there. And I know there are some who are not. Some people are like, this channel is getting so lame. It's just Timu all the time. 
it is just Timu all the time. <laughs> I don't know what else he want. I mean, that, what do you want from me? That's what it is. Okay, it is, it's Timu all the time. And you can watch Timu here, and then you can go other places and get other things. Like, Simply Jessica Marie vlogs. Like, she vlogs like her life and stuff. I can't vlog my life because I've got a job that I want to keep. Okay, anyway, Luna went to the vet today and she's not pregnant. Yay! She's just portly, as the vet put it. And he said to cut back on her, cut her food portions down because she's got like stray cat syndrome, meaning she had, you know, she was living out on the streets for a little while and scrounging for food. So now that she has food, she eats and eats and eats like it's her last meal because that's how it was when she was a little kitty with nowhere to live. And anyway, now she lives with me. And yes, she's getting a little overweight. And so we talked about cat diabetes and how we don't want her to get that. And she got a vaccination booster that she needed. And... She was very, very good. She was quiet. She didn't howl or fight or kick or scream or put up a big scene like poor little sweet Clover used to get all feisty at the vet's office. But Luna was a good cat and um, oh, that made me cry thinking of Clover. Stop it. The tears quit it. Anyway, but Luna was a sweet cat at the vet. She didn't do any of that stuff. So they all loved her. They said, what a sweet cat. And they love Loki too. And they asked about Loki because Loki is one of their favorites. And they're like, we want to see Loki again. And I said, I'll bring him into his, his claws trimmed. So the vet went fine. Luna's happy and healthy. And he did some little tests on her and everything's good. So yay. All right, let's see what's in this little Timu bag. I already know. I have it pulled up already. The first thing in here is... I'm not going to take that out yet. This weird thing. Have you guys seen this? I don't really know what the point... Like, I really don't know what the point of this is, but I couldn't resist it. I couldn't resist it. I couldn't resist trying it. So, this is, it says, Skyvy, well, that double hole, gosh, everything's so hard to read when you get old. Double hole energetic energy bar. And then the description on the website or the app or whatever you use for Timu says, Double hole energetic energy bar, awakening stick, wake up bar, anti sleepy artifact for stay up late people, driving household gadgets, useful tools. So we're going to take it out and you, you snort it <laughs> like you stick it in each nostril and I got I guess I got the flavor of mint uh oh is it falling oh I'm so scared it's gonna fall it's gonna make a really loud crash if it does okay so it looks like no I still have no fingernails on okay so it looks like this and then when you open it it looks like this and then you just, okay, do I feel a burst of energy? Kinda, <laughs> is it psychosomatic? I don't know. Simulate energy at critical moments, wake up your energy. Two cents, lemon or mint? And yeah, I mean, it just shows a lady, you know, breathing it in. Oh, we should have taken a pool on, like, how long that would last. How many minutes did it last? Nine minutes? Come on. It was so perfectly and beautifully on this hook. That was a loud crash, too. Should we try it again, or is it just going to scare us again? 
I'll have to figure out another way to get it up there. It was good on this hook. Okay. All it did was break that little dry. <laughs> it looks bad. Just stay. That scared me. What? I don't need a burst of energy now. That got my adrenaline running. What about you? Okay, will it fall again? Let's see. It's 10 minutes and 29 seconds. I mean, you just look kind of strange sitting around going, Hey, Bob, what's going on? <laughs> Want to sniff? I have no idea. I feel sure. I feel great now. I don't know. if Is it psychosomatic or is it just... it? I don't... I don't know what the science is behind it or if that really works or what it is menthol is what it is you're breathing in and shake the bottle. Oh, shoot. We didn't shake it. I didn't shake it beforehand. Okay, we'll shake it beforehand. Okay, I'm shaking it. Okay, now inhale it. Oh, lemon or mint for, and they're 98 cents each. I paid. Okay. Yeah. All right, I paid, I think I paid $1.50 for it or something. If I got mint flavor, 98 cents lemon flavor is 98 cents when I bought it it was 98 cents okay so it's all 98 cents all right so then the next thing in here is this three dollars and 59 cents and someone in comments suggested I try this because they said it did wonders for their hair so I got ooh, this rice water shampoo bar Oh, it smells like rice. <laughs> it totally smells like rice. Oh, it's just a little bar. Okay. And I forgot. So do I rub my hands and get them lathered on it and then wash my hair with it? Or do I take this thing and rub it all over my head? Somebody tell me in the comments how I use rice water shampoo bar. I think I was telling you guys when I was so rudely interrupted by that falling Christmas tree that... I did. I still don't have any nails on. Maybe is that what I was telling you, or were, were we talking about Luna? But yeah, sure. Healthy hair, healthy growing hair. All right. And then the last thing that's in this bag is a pair of I. I don't know what. I just wanted to try them. Someone said, you're just buying things now just to buy things. No, I'm not. I like to try things. $1.34 Eyesight Improvement Pinhole Glasses. Stenopic. Stenopic. Stenopic Eyeglasses. So, I guess, and I don't know because I have my contacts in, but I'm curious tonight, later, when I take... Don't move. When I take my contacts out, I want to know if, because these have little pinholes in them. Now, I told you guys that if you needed to focus in on something, just make a little pinhole with your, like this, and look, close your other eye and look through it like this, and it forces your eye to just focus on that little hole. So I'm guessing that's what these things do. Yeah, she's is I bet you can see. I don't know. Here, take off the glasses, pose for a thumbnail. She's point to the tree before it falls down again. It's a lamp. <laughs> All right. That's my thumbnail. $1.49 for, I'll try it without my contacts and see if I can see with it. Okay, are we ready for Advent? Does anyone want to stick around and watch me open Advent calendars? Then this whole weekend, you got, I don't have any orders coming in for some time. And 
I'm doing a collab with um, Cindy Reviews for You. We're just swapping uh, Christmas. We're doing bags again of... Like, I bought her a bag of something and had it shipped to her house. And she bought me something, too, and had it shipped to me. And I just got this notification today that, like, they don't know that for three days they haven't been able to track it. And I feel really bad, so I'm going to wait. They're going to try again tomorrow to track it. And that kind of stinks, but I don't have any orders coming in anytime soon, which is good because I've got a ton of reviews to do. Okay, let's get FabFitFun out of the way since it's so huge, you guys. It's a brick house. It's mighty, mighty. Okay, it's day seven today. Is today the seventh or is it the eighth? Uh oh, I better ask. I'm going to ask my device. Alexa, what's the date? It's Thursday, December 7th. Okay, thanks. I don't know. It all blends into one long day. All right, I'm going to open up the 7th. There's no way I can, like, do this on the camera in a comfortable position. Oh, I hate these perforated things. Just rip this. Day 7 is completely empty. There's absolutely nothing in there. Nothing. Well, okay, I guess I was naughty. Maybe it fell down somewhere in the box. I would show you, but it's hard to maneuver on this thing. But day seven is empty. I hope that it fell down and I'll find it eventually. Or other things in there? Or did I just get totally ripped off? All right. Well, day seven was a bummer. There's nothing in day seven on FabFitFun. Okay. Well, good. I didn't. I wanted that out of my life anyway. Now put this down on the ground where it belongs. Ooh. Didn't mean to throw it that hard. Okay. The next thing we should open is, let's open a good one before we get to the kind of cheesy ones. Let's open Sephora. How's the tree doing? I'm scared of that thing. Scared of it. Okay, the future is mine. Okay, day seven is... Way down here, there's a little flower down here to pull it out with. Okay, I bet it's going to be perfume. It says... A little sweetness. And am I even recording? Okay. Okay. For a minute. Is it candy? It says cotton flower. What is it? I need my glasses. How's the tree doing? How's our Christmas tree doing? Cotton flower, bubble bath, and shower gel. Okay. Cute. It's a little, it's going to be a little tricky, but okay. For shower gel or I can't really take a bubble bath because my drain doesn't my stopper is broken of course on my bathtub so it doesn't and I guess I could put and I've tried putting one of those little things on top of it to block the drain but it still doesn't really fill up a bathtub like I don't know everything in this house is pretty much broken Everything. Every bathtub we have is lame and... Okay. Now we're going to open Pop Feel, which is Timu's brand. Well, a, a Timu brand of makeup. And it's a surprise gift 
beauty set, which, you know, makes me feel confident in the product. And we will, so seven is a big box right here. And is this underwear? Uh-oh. Why am I always showing underwear on this channel? Oh, good. Okay, it's a scrunchie. All right, it's a scrunchie. Right on. Okay, cool. I guess. I mean, it's cute. Here's the scrunchie. Someone told me I wasn't holding things close up to... I forget. There's somebody who says I'm not holding things close enough to the camera, and I don't want to be like that. So here, let me quickly go back and hold up. Here is this nostril thing, Sky V, that you breathe in and out for energy. And here it is close to the camera. Yeah. All right. And then... Here is this bubble bath close to the camera, shower gel, and it comes in a little pod like this. There was nothing in FabFitFun for day seven. And here is the rice water shampoo bar that looks like this. Okay, and that wasn't sarcasm. That was genuinely trying to get it close to the camera. Okay, seven. Okay, and then tomorrow's eight. Oh my gosh. I've got so much stuff I have to ship. I have to pack. I have to ship some things. I have to just really, really, just don't think about it like that. Think about it like something fun to do. Okay, where, where am I putting these things? Over here? Let's put them back over here. Look for something positive in each day. Okay, here, let's do the cat advent calendar, which looks like a cat chewed on it. No, it's just me trying to open these perforated things. Number seven is down here. And I don't really want the cats up here right now. Oh, Luna is fast asleep. They told me that shot was going to make her feel kind of yucky today. And it, number seven is, I can't neatly open the door. Just a little rolly Christmassy, uh-oh, that woke her up. A little rolly Christmassy thing. Yay, they clipped her claws today. So, oops, well, she has it now. I was going to say, did I hold that up close enough? Okay, so there was the cats. We have 9, 10, 11. Is this only a 12-day one? 12 days of Christmas. Okay, 12 is, oh, 12 is like a long one that goes all the way up the box. So, yeah, we have 12 days. The best one that you guys haven't seen is that Godiva calendar, you guys. Whoa. Godiva chocolate is so delicious. Okay, let's do the gemstone one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the one that never tells me the correct names of the stones. And then we'll do the weird skincare one from Timu. So this one is... Today's rock of the day. Four calling birds. Three French hens. It's green and it's either, I think it's aventurine, okay? Or it could be, I'm looking at the, this is supposed to tell me what they are. And, oh, this is in French. Aventurine, green, or oh, green aventurine. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm pretty sure that is. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Or it could be Amazonite, but I don't know. Um, But it's very beautiful. And I'm sure someone will tell me if you know for sure what it is, but... And that brings money and good fortune. Well, 
I'm, it doesn't say that on this thing, but I do know that it supposedly brings money and good fortune. Okay, last and certainly least is this Eel Ho skincare. Look at what I've done to the box, you guys. It just looks like I've chewed open every advent calendar box. Okay, we're on day seven, and I already have chewed that one open. And it is Ooh Ho Inflammation Formula. I don't know what that says, even with my glasses on. Advanced Therapy for Pain Relief and Recovery. So it's probably like, it's got Arnica in it. It's got MSM. It's got B6, it's got glucosamine, and it's got magnesium. All right, that's a pretty good formula, actually. It's probably like Tiger Balm, you think, you guys? Does it say menthol? No. I don't know. Open it and smell it? What hurts? My mom's downstairs right now with a bad backache. And I feel bad because all those massage things I have, I don't have anything for her back. But otherwise, I would give it to her. Maybe this will work, though. Here, Mom, try this weird stuff from China. Let's just put this all over your back. Let's see if it smells like tiger balm. Or other pain relieving creams, Ben Gay. Is that what it's still called? Is it still called Ben Gay? Well, I'm so immature laughing. Okay, I can't get this off. Oh, there, I just bent my thumbnail all the way back, but you know what else is new? That thing is made out of tissue. Ugh. When I was a little kid, when my brothers and I were little kids, my mom would always say, if we were acting up, she'd say, you guys better behave or, or I'm going to take one of your presents under the tree away and blah, 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 you know, okay, okay, mom. But then one night she got really mad at it. Okay, so anyway, at that time I had this dollhouse that my dad had made for me. And I was, and there was this one box under the tree, you know, because we would get under the tree with the little gifts and shake them and try to see what was inside them and try to hear, figure out what was inside. And there was one box for me that was really, really rattly. And so I thought for sure that it was full of dollhouse furniture as a little kid. And I was excited. And that was the one I was going to open up first on Christmas morning. And so I, so one night though, my brother and I, I guess we're bad. I don't know what we were doing, but my mom was like, that's it. I am taking away one present and she, from each of you. And she marched over to that tree and she grabbed that box, my favorite box, the rattliest one. And then she grabbed another one with my brother's name on it and marched off with them and my brother started crying and I said, don't worry, she'll put them back by, by Christmas morning. I was a real logical little kid. I'm like, she wouldn't buy presents and then not give it, give them to us. I'm still trying to get this off. I'm trying to tell a story to at least, I'm about to give up. Oh, I did it. Oh, are you kidding me? Now there's foil under it? Come on. And so anyway, on Christmas morning, we get up and I go to look for that big jangly, shaky box. And no, it's it wasn't under the tree. She didn't put it back. And my brother, too, was like, oh, we don't have that. She didn't put those back. And I'm like, no, I guess she didn't put those back. And it was a bummer, but it was still a Merry Christmas, but it was mystifying. Okay, well, years and years and years later, we're talking decades. Oh, it smells horrible, but it doesn't smell like menthol. But, and I don't know, I don't have anything that's in pain or I can't test this. Okay, so decades later, 
I'm in the attic looking for something or attic and I'm moving some things around and underneath the, this, these piles of stuff are these two dusty presents that are wrapped and they were the ones my mom took away from us as kids. And I called my brother and I'm like, you're not going to believe what I found. I go, I found up in the attic those presents mom took away from us when we were kids at Christmas time. And so he comes over the next time he was over and he's like, show them to me. And so we go up in the attic and I'm showing him to him and he's like, well, let's open them. So we opened them and they were full of sticks and rocks. She had deliberately put presents with sticks and rocks in them and wrapped them because she knew she was going to end up taking them one away from us or something. I don't know. That was a sick parenting move. It was a sick psychological game. But I was dying. I'm like, oh my gosh. All this time when I was a little kid, I thought this was dollhouse furniture. And mom had just wrapped up sticks and rocks because she knew we were going to be bad. And she wanted to take away a present so we would be good for the rest of the Christmas season. I don't know. That, that, so that's my weird, like, what I discovered as an adult Christmas story. Okay, I think that's the last advent calendar, right? Yeah, we got some pain cream. We got some bubble bath. Wait. Bubble bath. Oh, a scrunchie. I was like, where? I got no makeup. A scrunchie. We got nothing in Fab Fit Fun. We got a Christmas tree that stayed up for most of the time, and that's it. And then we got some, I'm going to wash my, if somebody tells me how, ooh, I'm going to wash my hair with this tomorrow morning, and then put, you know, texture and, oh, here are the directions right here. Wet hair, dip some water on the soap, rub soap with your hands or I, it's so small, you guys, in like four point font. Something to make something something. Apply the foam. Oh, to make a dense foam. Okay, I don't know. Okay, so I'm guessing I rub it until there's a foam. And then I rub the foam in my hair or lather or whatever. And then I, I don't take this bar and just go like this, right? Okay, somebody tell me again how you use this stuff. All right, that's it, you guys. 32 minutes of just running my mouth. And um, this weekend is going to be all reviews all the time. And I am going to have another G word, which stands for giveaway. If I put G word in the title of a video, that means there's a giveaway in that video. I just don't want to put that word because I don't want to deal with those bots that leave comments going, you won my giveaway. So anyway, I'm going to do that this weekend. I've got something and Grinch babies are going in the mail tomorrow. And yeah, the poor people who won the Grinch babies are like, we're not going to get these by Christmas. No, they're going priority mail. And that's about it. Okay, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for listening and watching, watching and listening. And sorry it wasn't very exciting. Don't forget to watch Christmas with the with the crunks. <laughs> the crunks with the cranks, right? Get crunk with the cranks. All right. If you're bored and I might watch it too. Now I'm going to take that tree down because it's giving, it's making me nervous, but at least, you know, it was up there for nine minutes before it crashed. All right. I love you guys again and I will see you tomorrow or if not tomorrow, then Saturday. And how do we stop this thing? <laughs>